Hello everyone. In today's episode, we will look at growing okra in containers. So, we are starting our okra seeds indoors. This is the Nombo Giant Okra and since it's just January when I'm starting the seeds, they should be ready in about 4 to 6 weeks, which is around about the end of the frost uh, season in my area. Now, if you're starting okra directly outdoors, you need to wait till the temperatures reach about 65 to 70 Fahrenheit and that's when you should be starting your okra. If you're starting indoors, uh, start about 6 weeks before your last frost date. So you can see here that in around March, the plants have grown to about uh, 4 inches or so and this is a good time to transplant your seedlings into a larger container. We are using a whiskey barrel container here. A lot of you have asked me uh, where can we get these containers and how large they are. So they are about 22 inches in diameter and you can buy them at your local garden stores like Loaves or Home Depot. They are also available in Costco at a very good price. So if you are a Costco member, this is a good uh, container to buy from Costco. So what we are doing here is we are uh, just transplanting our seedlings. The soil mix that we have used is a standard soil mix, a standard potting mix of 30% peat moss, 30% perlite, 30% compost and about 10% of worm castings. Now this is enough nutrition for the seedlings to grow for a few weeks. But I highly recommend that you do add a liquid fertilizer like a seaweed and fish emulsion mix. So when you're watering your plants, uh, just mix it into the water and uh, water your plants very well. Just drench the foliage as well as the ground as well as the uh, soil beneath it. And you want your soil to be well draining. Now when you set up your container for the first time, it might happen that your soil doesn't drain too well because it's trying to absorb all the moisture for the first time. But eventually your soil should be well draining. That's the number one reason why a lot of gardeners are not able to grow good vegetables is because their soil is not well draining. So you need to have soil that drains very quickly. And you will shortly see that the soil that we have is actually very fast draining. Now we had an unusually cool uh, March, April and May in our area. So okra needs very warm temperatures. Here you can see that even in April and May, the plant has shown a little bit of growth but not really a lot of growth. That is because for okra plants to grow well, the daytime temperatures have to be in the 70s and the nighttime temp temperatures also have to be at least around 60 to 70 degrees. That's when the okra will start growing. And you can see here that by June is when the plant actually shows a lot of vigor and it's showing that one okra that's grown. And till June it was a very slow ride. But uh, we're going to go ahead and harvest our first okra. This is in June. But once the warm weather kicks in and you have hot days and warm nights, the okra plants are going to grow very quickly. So as you can see here, this okra is a pretty good looking okra and quite big in size compared to the regular okra. And you can see here that as soon as it's June, the plant is flowering like crazy and producing a lot of pods. So June and July are the harvest season. If you start your okra plants early, you can see here the pod. It's quite big and that's why it's the giant okra or the Nombo giant variety of okra. And okra is one plant that keeps producing more once you start harvesting. You can see here beautiful looking okra. And I will provide a link uh, to the seed source in my video description so you can buy these seeds and start planting these in your garden. So as you can see here the plant looks pretty sturdy, quite big and the pods are quite long. 
so as the plant flowers and grows uh, just make sure that you are feeding your plant well with the good fertilizer a uh, liquid fertilizer every three weeks or so and if you're using a slow release fertilizer if you use it at the time of planting uh, this is a good time to reapply your fertilizer so as you can see here uh, these uh, plants have produced very nice looking pods and this is our first harvest of a few okra here and once the plant starts growing you can actually start harvesting a lot of okra and for the rest of the months of June and July you can keep harvesting your okra they will produce a lot of okra as long as the temperatures are warm or hot okra even loves hot temperatures and since the temperatures are hot you need to make sure that you're watering your okra plants well now containers drain very fast and uh, it depends on the kind of potting mix you use if you use a lot of compost your potting mix will retain a lot of moisture but uh, if you use a standard potting mix like i described with 30 percent peat moss 30 percent compost and 30 percent perlite with a, with some worm castings you will need to water your containers almost every day during the hot days if it's not too hot if you're getting cloudy days or not enough sun it's okay to water them every two to three days but since okra thrives in hot weather it usually grows very well when you have sunny days and very hot temperatures so during this time it's very important that you don't let your okra plants wilt so make sure that you are following a nice uh, watering schedule if you have a drip irrigation system that takes care of it if not i highly recommend that you check out my video on installing the drip irrigation system for your containers it works very well and as you can see here the okra plant is now loaded with a lot of pods and this is why i liked this variety this variety did produce a lot of pods and uh, the pods were quite large in size so it was a decent harvest every time uh, we harvested the pods from the okra as you can see here from just three plants now for the regular sized okra i would have to use an entire raised bed at least a four foot by four foot raised bed but as you can see here for this uh, okra variety the giant variety it can be easily grown in this container and remember that uh, this giant variety is not a gmo it's just one of the varieties that's uh, native to the philippines and it grows very well in that country and the seeds are available via amazon so that they can be uh, planted in other areas as well so i will provide you a link to the seeds uh, once again in the video description so there we have it folks uh, that was our episode on growing this giant okra variety the nombo giant in containers do let me know if you have any questions drop in a comment below if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber do click on the subscribe button and we'll see you again soon happy gardening